Josh, yesterday when I spoke to Frank, he told me that he always got the impression you didn't like him. And, and back when you were champion in UFC, you kind of looked down on him. Is that true? No, not at all. I didn't really know Frank. I actually never got an opportunity to, to actually speak with him and, and know the person that he is. And my, my experiences where I just remember seeing him early on and just getting, you know, a thousand yard stare sitting at a table in, in Vegas and turning to my, my girlfriend at the time and going, man, I don't know why that guy's got a problem with me, but I guess, you know, maybe it's just the want to, to be in the position where I'm at. Well, let's get his take on it. What's the root of all of this? Is he accurate here? Were you giving him that big stare? Well, I mean, obviously I was staring over Josh. He was the champ and I was coming in. And, and uh, I guess maybe the, the, the friendship, uh, friendly hand wasn't extended over towards my direction. But, uh, you know, at the time I was the newcomer. So I'm coming in, I'm looking over the guys at the top of the hill. So, uh, you know, and I think Josh is a very competitive individual. I don't think that anybody would say anything otherwise of him. So me being in the same weight class, I think that he just very much, uh, you know, uh, more of a standoff type of attitude than I've ever had. Now he's kind of the newcomer again in the UFC. You'll, you're the old dog. Are you looking to kind of kick him out? Say, no, 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 this, this is my territory here. You're not welcome in the UFC. Well, obviously, I'm always looking to spoil everybody's arrival. I don't want to make an easy night for Josh in his debut, you know. If he's on a highlight reel, I hope it's on the end he doesn't want to be. What do you think, Josh? He's been known to submit some very tough guys like Big Nog broke his arm. Yes. You think he's trying to do the same thing to you? Of course he is. I would expect no less. If he doesn't, then I will be disappointed. Uh, and... Uh, I could say that I, I am the meat tenderizer for Big Nog for everybody else at this point. I put him through some real hell, but um, at the end of the day, fights are fights, and, and you want the best not only out of yourself, but out of your opponent, because uh, at least that day, you can say that you beat the best that someone had to offer. Well, thank you very much, guys. Really looking forward to this one. Karen, should be a great heavyweight scrap here in Milwaukee.